Darcy, I need to file my annual reports. Hey, ambitious friends. I am so grateful to have you here with me today. First things first, we gotta do a self check-in. How are you doing and how's your business going? And so the business I'm going to spotlight today is Bob Boss Natural. It's natural hair care products and it was founded by Allison Harris. So definitely check out her business as it's important for us to support each other. And if you want your business to be featured in my coming up videos, make sure to fill out your business information in the directory link below. So I'm going to talk about annual reports in general, and then I'm going to focus in on the reports required for Texas. And while you're doing that, don't forget to like and subscribe for more good content like this. So getting into the video, annual reports, what are they? So annual reports for your LLC are documents required from your state to verify and confirm that your business is in compliance and that they are up to date on the activities that happened in the previous year. So let's say you had a name change. Let's say the reason that you formed the business changed. Let's say the managing members in your LLC also changed. Maybe there was a rearrangement. Maybe one of the business owners fell out and didn't want to be a part of the business anymore. The state needs to know that. And so by filling out the annual reports, you're letting the state know what's going on in your business. So your business is compliant and up to date. You also might want to know, when do I need to file an annual report? Well, each state has a different due date for an annual report. Sometimes it's at the beginning of the year, sometimes it's in the middle, and sometimes it's at the end. For Texas specifically, it's due May 15th every single year. Fortunately, though, for 2021, we got an extension because 2020 was a year unlike no other, as you know. But every year, you should fill out your annual reports in Texas by May 15th if you have an LLC in Texas. So if you aren't filing your LLC with Texas, don't worry. I left a link in the description below that goes in detail about the annual reports that you need to file for your particular state but I am gonna go into detail about Texas and it might give you some insights about your own state as well. But I do wanna stress the importance of filing these annual reports for your LLC because if you don't file these annual reports or if you don't file these on time, then certain negative actions could happen. That can look like a forfeiture of your business. So when I say forfeiture of business, that could mean losing your business name. That means not potentially not being able to operate your business. That also means that not being able, if let's say you were taken to court, not being able to enforce the legal contracts that you might have within your business. And even worse, your business could dissolve as well. So there are a lot of negatives of not filing these annual reports. And so it's something small that needs to get done, but so important within your LLC. Now you might be wondering, how do I file my annual reports for my LLC? Well, you can go to the Secretary of State website. There, they should have information of the reports you need to file and how you can file them. Sometimes you can file reports either through mail or online or by fax. I personally, I would file online. It's easy, it's straightforward. I don't have to deal with pen and paper and potentially not sending all of the documentation that I need to send to the Secretary of State. Fortunately, in the case of Texas, you don't need to send an annual report to the Secretary of State, but you do need to send reports to the Comptroller, the Texas Comptroller, and there are two reports that you need to send them. You need to send an annual franchise tax report and you need to send a public information report. These are two separate reports. Sometimes business owners can get confused and think they're one report. They're two reports. And if you don't file both of them, your business has a strong chance of not being compliant with the state. And so the state has the right to dissolve your business if you don't meet compliance. And so that's a huge concern that you have to make sure you take care of these annual reports. And with Texas, you can go to the Texas Comptroller website 
which I'll link in the description below, and a how-to video in terms of how you can sign up so that you can file those reports you need to file. Now you might wanna know how much does it cost to file your annual reports? So some states charge anywhere between 50 and hundreds of dollars. But with Texas, there's no annual filing fee. You just need to file the correct forms. If you don't file them on time though, that's when you can get charged. And Texas has a $50 fee if you do not file on time. Going more into detail about what reports you need to file. So in Texas, you need to file two reports. Do you remember? Yes, so you need to file the public information report and the Texas Franchise Report. So the public information report is going to update the Texas Comptroller on what's the name of your business, who are the managing members, and what are your addresses, as well as the registered agent and their address. And so the Texas Comptroller needs to know that information so they can relay it back to the state if need be. So the second report that you need to file is the annual franchise tax report. So the no tax due threshold is 1.18 million. So if you make less than 1.18 million in your business, then you can file the no franchise tax due report. To let you know, you still have to file a report. Even if you don't owe franchise tax, you still need to file a report. As well, you still need to file the PIR mentioned earlier, which is the public information report. Just to say it one more time, if you do not make more than $1.18 million, you still have to file the no franchise due report and the public information report. So sometimes some business owners can run into trouble when they file the no franchise tax due report but not the PIR. You need the PIR and the no franchise tax report if you make less than $1.18 million. If you make more than that, you're gonna be in serious trouble if you do not file these reports on time. And what's great about Zen Business is that they took care of both of these forms for me. I ordered the pro package with Zen Business in 2020 so this year I was able to get those files formed worry-free and that was offered with their worry-free compliance. So your state, if it's not Texas, your state re might require you to file forms and to have worry-free compliance, not to worry about, again, your company being dissolved because you didn't turn in the reports you needed to. A lot of times you, you might not have known, but it's important to know this information so that your company can remain in compliance. And so Zen Business has made my life a lot easier by having that worry-free compliance. And so now you know a great perk about going with Zen Business and you know what reports you have to file with Texas. You have to file the franchise tax report, whether you make more than $1.18 million or less, and you have to file the public information report. So you have to file those two documents. I hope this was helpful and please check out some of my other videos on LLC and business ideas. Peace, stay building, bye.